welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul. Um, I know I don't do these as often anymore, but I still like to do them because it gives me a chance to kind of chat with you about some products that I'm trying, why I'm trying it, kind of my thoughts. And so even though it's a haul, I kind of give my little mini thoughts and reviews on certain things. So let's go ahead and get started. The first few things I want to show you guys are, um, are from my Young Living Monthly order because I'm so excited. In here, I do have more. I have ordered quite a few oils this month. But um, in this tube are two essential oils that are for you guys. I'm gonna be filming my giveaway soon. And two of the oils that I ordered in my monthly order this month are for the giveaway. So I'm not gonna share what two are in here, but they are for you. And they are two of my favorite oils, so I'm really excited to share those. And then for myself, I ordered two more lemon essential oils. So just two of those. Um, you guys know that I'm obsessed with the lemon essential oil. I also ordered another bottle of frankincense. I love this. It's such a great product. Um, it's, a, it's a great oil to have. I use it for my face, like in my, in my, um, my like moisturizer and stuff like that. It just has a ton of different uses. So I really love frankincense as well. And then this one is a brand new oil that I've never tried. It is called Motivation. Um, so I'm excited to give this a try. I don't really have any expectations of it quite yet. Um, I literally just smelled it to open it. It does smell really, really nice. So I'm excited to give it a try, but I haven't diffused it. I haven't used it at all yet. And then just while I have these two bottles, I'm going to show you the difference. This is a 15 mil size. And I know I've told you it has about 300 drops. And this is a five mil size and it has about a hundred drops. And just keep it in mind every time you use them, and unless you're diffusing them when you actually use them um, on, on yourself or on, on, your, on anybody else, you really only need one drop. So they last forever. They look tiny, but they last forever. The next thing I wanna chat real quickly with you about is my Dollar Shave Club. I've had a few people ask about this because they wondered if I'm still on my $9 razor versus my $6 razor. If you don't know about Dollar Shave Club, just really quickly, it is basically a subscription of razors. They also have other products, like I buy their their shave butter, which I'm obsessed with, but it's basically a razor blade, a razor subscription. Um, this is the only place I buy razors, and it's through the subscription. I have mine set up every other month. You can do every other month, you can do every month, it's really up to you. And they have a $3 razor, a $6 razor, and a $9 razor. When I started Dollar Shave, I started with the $6 razor, and I use that one. My husband and I both use that one for months and no problems. He didn't complain, I didn't complain, but just out of curiosity, I decided to give the $9 eraser a try. And so we've been on the $9 eraser for probably the last four, the four, last four um, subscriptions or four scheduled cents or boxes, I don't know what you would call it. And um, I'm still on the $9 eraser just because it's only a $3 difference. But um, but I think the $6 razor is a great razor. So I think if you're not super picky, I'm just not super picky when it comes to razors. I think the $6 razor is great. But if you want just a little step up, a little bit of a higher quality razor, because it is a nicer razor. The $9 is a nicer razor. It's just like with anything, you get what you pay for. Here is a kind of close up of the $9. You know what, let me just pull one out. I love Dollar Shave Club. I don't even know how I found it. I think I found it online or something. This is what it looks like. So you can see. This is it here. Uh, but it's a good razor. I really, really like those, like these. And like I said, my husband and I both use them. Um, when we first started, I used to get the subscription every month for like two or three months just to get a little stockpile of razors. Now we do every other month and it's $9 every other month for razors and I don't buy them from the grocery store, which they can be expensive. So I love them. I'll, I'll put my referral link down below. I mean, Dollar Shave doesn't know who I am, but I of course have a referral link because everybody does when you, when you, you, when you buy um, from Dollar Shave. The next thing I have is from Etsy. It is from... Simply Chic by Nikki. I got two bracelets from her and they're so stinking cute. So I just wanted to show you. So I have two, but let me just show you the big one first. So here's the big one. She puts, she hand beads these together and they're really nice looking beads. They, they're they really nice quality. So I really like this one. And then here is the other one. And it's a little bit smaller. I wanted something, I wanted two that I could um, wear together. Let me, hold on, let me, there we go. I wanted two that I could wear together 
but also that I could stack with my other items. And so I wanted to get something really neutral. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna real quick throw these in with this stack just so you can see how they look with like some of my current stuff. You guys know I kind of mix and match all of my bracelets really. So how cute does that look? They're just so cute. They kind of work perfectly. Um, I'll link her shop below. Again, it's Simply Chic by Nikki. I just, I'm, I really am digging these. So I haven't worn them yet, but I'm excited to give those a try. Okay, let's see, let's see. So I get a lot of questions about organization. Um, and I think I'm gonna start showing you guys whenever I buy things or when, you know, whenever I just get things for around the house to organize. And this is one of the things that I picked up from Amazon. They are the vacuum sealer um, storage bags. And so this one is a set of, well, you get four. You get four jumbo bags and one travel. travel. So this one you use um, like your vacuum or something. And then this one you can squeeze out. And I really like these. I actually am going to be using these. So here, here they all are. I'm going to be using, let me show you. This is the size of the travel size. It's pretty big. And then this is the size for the jumbo. The jumbo is huge, 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 huge. I am planning on using these upstairs for the boys. We buy the boys holiday uh, bedding, and so they each have their own set of holiday bedding, and then they have their regular bedding, and things like that, and I like to put that stuff away, and so I'm actually going to put one of each of their sets in the jumbo so that I can vacuum seal it, put it away, and so whenever Christmas comes around or whatever holiday for their bedding, I can use those, but I really like these. These are really nice quality. You can see the nozzles here. They're here, um, but I really like these. They're very durable. They hold a ton and they really do shrink down quite a bit. So I highly rec recommend these. Um, I will link these down below. And like I said, I'm just gonna start showing you guys whenever I get things to organize around the house because I've had quite a few people ask me to do organization videos and this can be ways that I can slowly introduce it to you guys. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna show you guys is gonna be kind of fun. So there is this company called Oh, I'm sorry, everything is like, the cases are put away. This company is called Pixel, it's Pixel Eyewear, and I have three pair of glasses to show you. So does, if you guys, do you guys suffer from, do you guys ever get like headaches from staring at the TV too long or staring at computer screens too long? I have, I get headaches really, really bad or I'll get like eye twitches. So I came across this company, it's called Pixel. These are the, the boxes that each of their um, so their glasses come in. And basically these glasses are, let me see if I can grab. Basically these glasses, here is the, the name of the company, it's Pixel. Um, let me see, there we go. Um, you can see eyewear specifications, blue light filter, anti-glare, UV 400, lightweight build, enhanced contrast. So basically it's supposed to help eliminate um, eye strain for computers and just staring at the TV um, all day long. So I have three pairs to show you. I'm not gonna show you all the boxes, but they all come with this box and then they all come with a soft case, drawstring case and then a cloth to clean them and then it comes with there with the box, of course. So I'm gonna show you the three pairs that I have. I'm not gonna keep all three, but I wasn't sure which pair that I would like to keep, so I went ahead and, and, and picked all three to try, but I'm gonna show you the three different styles that I picked. I'm gonna show you from the one I'm probably not gonna keep. This is the Ventus style. Ventus V-E-N-T-U-S and this is in tortoise. So these are these Hopefully it's not giving you too much of a glare, but they are clear So it's not like you are it's not like it looks weird. I'm sorry. I'm looking up in the viewfinder They are clear So, you know, it doesn't it just looks like you're wearing a pair of like reading glasses But they are not prescription. They just have a very very light color to them to help with anti-glare and to help with eye strain whenever you're staring at the computer all day long. So this is the Ventus style. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these. I think these are my least favorite out of the three, but I wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to give these a try. I think that they're nice, but probably not my favorite. I haven't decided. What do you think? Do you like these or not? Tell me. I would love to know which ones you like the best for me down below. So here are the Ventus style, you can see. And again, mine are the tortoise. So there, and then let me just show you like a side view of them. 
okay and then the next style is I don't know how to say this. B U T E O. I'll probably put the names of them down below. Now, I do like these. I like the longer ones because I think I have a really round. I kind of, it just runs in the family. We have kind of chubby faces. I have a round face and round puffy cheeks. Um, but this is the Beautio. I'm not sure how to say it, but I like these. These are also tortoise. But I like these. So I'm actually deciding between these, I think. And the next pair. I think the next pair might be my favorite. These are also tortoise, but these are a lighter tortoise. They're not so shelly, if that makes sense. They're a little bit more like brown and just kind of, they're a really nice brown though. Um, but I like these. And these I think are my favorite. And these, are, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's O-R-Y-C. And that's these. And they're just a little bit more tapered here just a little bit more tapered and a little bit more in in the center i don't know so i'm curious which ones do you like best for me but i'm gonna i'm gonna send back two pair and i'm gonna keep one i think i mean i just don't need more than one um so i really like these um but i just think they're kind of fun um they're fun to wear and i hope that they help with um with my headaches, because I have really, really bad headaches. These are a little bit more tortoise, so I don't know if the camera is gonna, oh, there you go, see all that, see the tortoise? I look, like the color of these a little bit better too, I think. So you can see the tortoise in them, versus these are the Beautio. They're a little bit more brown, Let's see? And then these are the Ventus. These are definitely tortoise as well. See how these are like tortoise? So I like, I, I like the last two, I think. Which ones do you guys like best on me? So again, that's the Ventus, I don't know. I don't know, let me know which one you guys like. So I'm gonna keep one of those for sure and I will let you guys know how I like them. I'm really excited to hopefully get rid of the eye strain. I get eye twitches every once in a while. Um, I'll just get like a random eye twitch just from being in front of my computer screen all day long. So. I will let you know how I like those. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, the next item I have to show you is from Studio. I have shown these before on Snapchat and Instagram stories, I believe. And I really, I had so I had quite a few people message me about them. So I figured I would go ahead and show them really quickly on a video. I love these. They are a Bluetooth headset and the Studio Baza Blah set. Um, I really, really am loving these. I have never been really picky about things like this. Even my husband was like, oh my goodness, I want a pair of those are amazing. I really love them. The, the quality of them is great. Um, just, they're so convenient to have. I love that there are no wires. They're very lightweight. I just really, really like these. Um, and I picked the white with the rose gold. Um, and you can see that's rose gold there and then the rest of it's white. So it basically it's got the earbud and then this is the remote control basically that controls the volume, the power and everything. And then you come down here is the battery pack where you charge it and everything. And then of course here is the other earbud down over here. It comes with a ton of different um, like earbud sizes. You can see all the different sizes there. It also comes with a little leather pouch. I probably won't use that stuff. And then as far as the sizes, once you figure out which size is yours, you really don't need to change it out. But yes, I'm happy with this. I've had a few people ask me if I'm happy with them. I am. Um, it, they're, they're just so easy. It is held to charge for a very long time. The quality of the sound is amazing. It's really clear. Um, and I just really, I'm really digging, I'm really digging these. I think I might get my husband a pair and surprise him. But um, yeah, I definitely think these are worth it. Um, they're, they're really nice, so I highly recommend. And they came really quickly, um, cause you don't, they're not from here in the States. I think they're from, um, where are they from? Let's see. They are from Stockholm, they're from Sweden. And it took, I had them within a week. I wanna say it just took about three days or so, four days, I can't remember. But it was a pretty quick, it was pretty quick for them to get here. So they do come pretty quick as well. So I highly recommend these. I'll put the link down below as well for these. And I have a coupon code for those too if you wanna save a little bit of money. Um, let's see, the last things I wanted to show you were I did pick up a few beauty items recently. Um, they're kind of from some random places, but they were, and I picked up more, but I, there was just a few things specifically I wanted to show you. So I did get a few of 
of these hand masks. I got different ones. Um, these did come from Sephora. I'll link them down the below. I am loving these. I have never used a hand mask before. You guys know I'm obsessed with face masks, so I'm always trying different face masks. I suffer from really dry hands and really dry feet, like extremely dry. And just getting older and stuff, it really concerns me to have the dry hands because that's where you're gonna show a lot of your aging is your hands. And especially because I've suffered my whole life from dry hands, it really scares me. So I invested in a few of these. They are not cheap. I wanna say they were like $10 each mask, which is crazy because it's for your hands. But I did buy some and I did try them and I love them. And so actually what I did is I'm trying to do my own homemade version. I bought some um, disposable gloves and I started putting like different serums or moisturizers and then putting those disposable, you know, like the gloves at the doctor's office and stuff, trying to make my own. It's not the same. It's, it's really not the same. I'm sure if I keep playing with the recipe, I will find one that I like. I'm trying to find one so that it'll save me a little bit of money and probably use some of the products that I currently already have. But what I've tried has not worked the way this one does. It's very similar to using a face mask. You put it on, they're little gloves. You put them on, you leave them on for however long you want to. You take them off and then you massage what's left over in your hand. And, and after you massage them in your hand, it all is like in your hand. It's like your face. It's all like soaked in and you just... It feels very nourished and plump and moisturized, whereas the ones that I've been doing, the, the my DIYs with my disposable gloves, it's, when I take them off, it doesn't feel like anything soaked into my skin. And so I'm gonna try to come up with a recipe. If I do, maybe I'll do a video with a DIY hand mask, but I'm gonna try to come up with a, a little recipe that works. Um, maybe I should just check out and maybe copy what they have. But but anyways, I do like these. I think that if you're looking for a hand mask or if you're like me, you suffer from really, really dry skin um, on your hands, try these out and then at least try them out until I come up with a DIY and then I'll let you guys know what that's gonna be. Speaking of hands, I also bought a new hand cream. You guys know I've been using the La Mer. Um, I love the La Mer, but it's so pricey and it doesn't have SPF, which is huge. And so even though I love that hand cream, I think the consistency is great. I wanted to try something that has a sunscreen and this one has SPF 40. It is teeny weeny. I don't even remember honestly how much I paid for this. So I will give it a try. I haven't this. Uh, I haven't even tried it yet. So let's see what the consistency is. I'm planning on putting this. It it has a slight smell, but nothing overpowering or perfumey. Uh, it's nice. It's definitely not my La Mer, but I'll give it a try and see how I like it. And also, I didn't really give it a fair shot there, but. I will give it a try, I will let you guys know. Um, but I just wanted to try something, one, cheaper than the La Mer and that had SPF. So that was kind of my plan on giving this a try. So I'll let you know how I like it. Um, the next thing that I tried, I think I bought this from Whole Foods and this is from Andalou Naturals. It is their 1000 Roses Rose Water Mask. It's for sensitive skin. I mean, we just talked about how much, how obsessed I am with masks. So I love sheet masks and I love, come on, focus. Um, I love sheet masks, masks, and I love these kind of masks. Um, so I figured I'd give this one a try. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I love roses. I love anything that smells like roses. It doesn't have a real strong rose smell. So I'll give this a try and I will let you guys know. But I bought this because it's for sensitive skin. It's roses and roses are awesome. Um, and it's... You know, it's from Andalou, Nat Andalou Naturals. This is a really good brand. I've tried a few things from them and I've been really happy with that brand. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is I am trying, or I'm probably not gonna use this as my sole brow pen because you guys know I'm obsessed with the um, Brow Wiz. But this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. So this one, I saw a video of somebody like kind of drawing their eyebrows on with this one, but like you like with specks of hair. So I'm excited to give this a try. Has anybody used this? Do you love it? But it is the brow pen. I think it only comes in two colors and I got the darker color. I got universal deep. So we will see. I will oh, I'll probably continue to use my brow wiz because I love that one. But I wanted to give this a try and see if I can make my eyebrows look a little bit. I don't know. I've never felt like I did eyebrows really, really, really well. So 
hopefully this will kind of maybe i can do this in conjunction with the brow wiz so we will see but that is everything guys i will leave links down below for everything let me know if i left anything out if you have any questions and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video you guys have a fabulous day i will talk to you soon Bye bye